It's Fringe in 5. Everything you need to know about the first 10 episodes and a few things you don't. I just got an erection. This is flight 627 from Hamburg to Boston. There's just one problem. Make that many problems. Can someone say contagion? Probably not this guy. Q. Olivia Dunham, FBI agent with daddy issues and a secret affair with her partner John Scott. I love you. She shows up to see Flight 627. Charlie Francis' friend and fellow agent takes her to see the passengers, or what's left of them. Olivia wants in. Homeland Security agent Philip Royals reluctantly agrees. Olivia and John investigate a lead, find a suspect, but lose him. Or rather, he loses them. <laughs> Olivia's knocked out. John is, well, translucent. He's suffering from a chemical reaction to the explosion that no one can stop. Now Olivia's on a mission to save him, a mission that leads her right to Walter Bishop. Brilliant scientist specializing in fringe science. Things like mind control, teleportation, reanimation. There's just one problem. He's been in St. Clair Psychiatric Hospital for 17 years. Oh, <laughs> fantastic news. Actually, two problems. The only person who has legal access to Walter is his son, Peter, and he's not exactly local. Nor a fan of his father. Plus, he's on the run from someone. You tell anybody else that I'm here, you're the first one of the bunch I'm going to come after. Olivia tricks him into coming back and they go to see Walter, whose mind is fractured, memory is shaky, and appetite is raging. I have this horrible pudding here. Walter gets to leave, but only with Peter as his reluctant chaperone. Olivia reopens Walter's old Harvard lab, brings in her assistant Astrid, lots of equipment, and Jean. Is that a cow? Walter examines a sample from John, but needs to know what chemicals were used in the explosion. So he suggests a simple merging of Olivia's consciousness with John's. All that's required, a little LSD, a lack of clothes, and a tank of water. It works. Olivia sees a suspect. He was an employee of Massive Dynamic, a multi-billion dollar corporation created by William Bell, who just so happens to be Walter's former lab partner. Olivia meets with the COO, Nina Sharp, who offers to give her a hand and promptly warns her of the pattern, a series of bizarre events involving unexplained phenomenon and rapid scientific progress. Someone out there is experimenting. Only the whole world is in lab. They catch their suspect and have a little chat. I want the names of the chemicals. Peter gets a cure and they save John Scott, only to find out that he's not such a good guy. He kills her suspect and flees, but not very well. Needless to say, Olivia has a few questions. Who are you working for? He dies. Or does he? How long has he been dead? Five hours. Question him. Now Broyles wants Olivia, Walter, and Peter to start investigating cases related to the pattern, so they do. many of which lead them right back to Massive Dynamic, as well as connecting back to the work Walter did years ago. Just when you thought things couldn't get any weirder. Olivia discovers that a strange man has been watching her, or rather her cases. Royals calls him the Observer. He's been seen at dozens of pattern-related cases just watching. When a mysterious beacon blasts through the ground, Walter helps him hide it. Turns out years ago, the Observer saved Walter and Peter from drowning. It was as if he were inside my head. Without speaking, he made it clear that he would need me one day. The Observer reads Peter's thoughts and makes a believer out of him. Speaking of believing, Olivia can't believe what she's been seeing, or rather, whom. Hello, Liv. Walter says this is a result of her going into the tank. Part of John's consciousness and memories crossed over into hers. On the plus side, John leads her to his hidden case files and tells her that he loves her. Always. FBI agent and friend of Broyles, Mitchell Loeb, falls ill and a parasite is found wrapped around his heart. Walter discovers a pattern in the creature's DNA that spells out CFT, a mysterious terrorist organization that traffics in highly advanced science and technology. This trail leads to David Robert Jones, who is currently residing in a German prison. Olivia goes there, but the only way Jones will cooperate is if he can speak with Joseph Smith. There's just one little snag. No! But of course, Walter has an idea. Just hook Smith's brain up to Peter's. Jones wants Smith to answer the question. Where does the gentleman live? After some more painful brainstorming, Peter finally gets the answer. Little Hill. Jones gives him the antidote and they save Lowe, but probably shouldn't have. He's a bad guy who went through all of this just to get the answer to that question. Did we get the answer? Little Hill. But the real question is, why? Next stop, Connecticut. A little boy is kidnapped so he can finish a musical composition that he's been obsessively working on. Turns out the musical notes translate into a mathematical equation, an equation that one of Walter's former inmates was obsessed with. Now Walter's forced to check back into St. Clair's Asylum to try and get some answers out of him. It doesn't really go so well. Walter is forced to stay overnight, but does finally get a clue that leads Olivia to the little boy. She saves him, but not before he solves the equation. Turns out the equation runs a strange device, a device that allows Loeb to move his hand through solid matter. That could probably come in handy. Faster than you can say bank vault, it does. Loeb heads up a crew breaking into various safe deposit boxes by moving through the bank walls. Great plan, although there are a few kinks to work out. Ah! Meanwhile, Olivia keeps seeing John Scott. He's helping with her cases, but not with her sanity. So she goes back into the tank, a dangerous endeavor that does nothing to stop his appearances. Speaking of John Scott, Nina Sharp and Massive Dynamic have been trying their darndest to get information out of his brain. Hasn't been going so well, but they catch a break and make a discovery. Some of John Scott's memories are in Agent Dunham's mind. Walter realizes that the safe deposit boxes being broken into are his, and what he put into them were parts of a device he never got to test. A device that can retrieve anyone from anywhere. It seems Loeb is planning to retrieve Jones from his German prison. Olivia tries her best to stop them, but that's all part of their plan. Target captured. The device works, and Jones appears in a spot that just so happens to be named Little Hill. And the very first thing he wants to know is... Do you have her, Agent Dunham? She didn't even put up a fight. Well then, let's not keep her waiting. 
So just to recap our recap, Olivia's caught, Jones is not. Walter can't remember his past, and Peter's trying to forget his. Find the pattern, solve the mystery. 